Hi everybody, uh, I've already shown you a video about my Sony RX100 Mark III. That was my first impressions and now I would like to show it to you again and tell you some more details about it, more uh, practical stuff. So let me uh, go into some technical specs. Uh, it's a 20 megapixel one inch sensor. So the sensor is a little bit, it's actually substantially larger than most point and shoot sensors, but not quite as large as a micro four thirds sensor. Uh, it has a two, or well actually a three times zoom lens. Uh, which corresponds to a 35 millimeter equivalent of 24 to 70 millimeters with apertures ranging from 1.8 to 2.8. This is one of the improvements above the previous model. That one had a reach up to about 100 millimeters, but the uh, widest aperture at that focal length or actually starting right from, from the first steps of zoom uh, would go up, I think, to up to 4.5. Correct me if I'm wrong. The ISO range of this one is 80 to uh, 12,800, and the shutter speed is 30 seconds up to 1 2,000th of a second. Uh, and um, it has a built-in ND filter that you can switch on. So you will be able to use the maximum aperture at basically, well, even during in, in daylight. Uh, well, some details about the camera. As you see it here, I put on the optional grip. Uh, it's supposed to make it easier to handle. Um, I didn't have the impression that it was a major problem before, but with the grip, it's definitely easier. So a quick look at the top of the camera, the mode dial here, as usual, program, aperture priority, speed priority, manual, uh, memory, you can, you can save uh, predefined settings or sets of settings, video mode, panorama mode, scenes, which is like art filters, things like that, or for specific, for specific purposes. Uh, this is the intelligent auto and intelligent auto plus. Uh, these are like up to a certain extent, uh, the camera decides what to do or how to handle a specific situation. This is the shutter release button, the zoom switch and the on off button. This one is for the flash. The pop-up flash opens like this. Let me show you. It kind of sticks out a little bit, not bad. Uh, you can tilt it for bounce and it goes back in. Then you have the, the one of the peculiarities of this camera or what sets it aside uh, is the pop-up viewfinder that activates the camera at the same time. You pop it up like this, you pull out this part here, and basically you have the viewfinder. It switches automatically when you move your eye, it should. <laughs> when you move your eye in front of the viewfinder, it switches to the viewfinder, and uh, it does that. There is a sensor in there. So um, let me show you a bit of the menus. It's a pretty standard Sony menu setup. Up here you have the main uh, departments. Uh, these are the camera settings. And then you go down and within this you have, uh, seven, in this case, seven different uh, frames where you can change your settings. If you move on, it will move to the to some other settings. These are the uh, Wi-Fi settings. The camera has a built-in Wi-Fi and NFC, and it can access uh, the App Store. Like no, the well, the the Sony App Store, uh, and then you have the Play menus and the suitcase is other menus. Honestly, I, I never quite got the logic 
behind where they put a certain functionality because I mean the mo monitor brightness might as well be here in the well technical settings or something like that you have other things that are in this area um, it's you know finder monitor settings are here the brightness is back here that's up to you to decide whether you like it or not um, what else can I say okay uh, the front of the camera is well let me turn it off by just pushing in the uh, viewfinder when it's closed it's it has this little oh this is the uh, uh, function ring that is used by the camera to change settings you can change it you can define a function to assign to it or it's uh, used within a certain logic set by the camera if you turn the camera on let me do it by popping out the viewfinder the lens comes out if you zoom to the teleposition it's it goes back in a little bit and on the wide angle it's at its longest this is a, a Zeiss lens uh, so it's supposed to be really good actually it is uh, optically speaking it's definitely a very good lens uh, it's these co-marketing things where you say, you know, Sony has a cooperation with Zeiss and uh, they use both brands on, on the same camera. It's a great camera. It's a great lens. Uh, the viewfinder definitely makes it pop out in the competition because uh, in, in many situations, either because you're used to using a viewfinder or because the lighting conditions are not so good for, for, the, for the back uh, screen, uh, you may use the viewfinder. The back screen is tiltable. It can be tilted down to a certain angle, basically like 45 degrees, or it can be tilted up and it can be tilted up all the way for selfies. So uh, if you if you use it like this, you can take photos of yourself. It will it will uh, the image will flip around too, so you can really see yourself and see the the settings and everything. What else can I say? This camera can be remote controlled with a dedicated app. The app does not offer many options. Uh, there are other manufacturers apps that are better for this however it's a good thing you know you want to trigger the camera uh, remotely you want want to set it down somewhere and you can you can trigger it uh, it's it's pretty good uh, it's, if I remember correctly for example you cannot zoom with the uh, with the app um, you can only change a certain number of functionalities uh what can i say it's a great camera it's currently probably my favorite camera um the zoom is something that uh, I, I have ambiguous feelings about usually when i do street photography things like that i prefer not to have a zoom explicitly because uh, it it confuses you you have to be quick you have to uh, basically see the pictures before you take them and uh, for that a zoom doesn't really help because if you have to you see the pictures usually you won't see it in 24 millimeters so you will have to zoom in and that's a st one more step that you have to take to to catch the moment uh, what else there's not much I can say about it battery life is reasonable uh, with this camera you, you end up switching it off between photos so you don't carry it around um, switched on therefore the battery life is reasonable however as with every camera I try to have spare batteries because you either charge them <laughs> very often or you want to have a spare one that you carry with you uh, to have it ready when you need it uh, thank you very much um, please subscribe and check out my other videos for other nice little toys and uh, hope to see you soon on uh, my channel again thank you very much and have a good day